So I will talk about the second technology which is a switchable and a projectable facades and which is also used for interiors. So to set up the context this has been a, a technology which has been there for almost like 5 years now and then it is trying to find out a space in the market wherein the applications are numerous. So in terms of to tell you about, about how the technology behaves and what is this product about. So as a, a general uh, generic uh, product name it is called a switchable glass. So to explain you what is switchable glass, it is an active uh, laminated glass which under the effect of electrical current switches from transparent to opaque and it is a liquid crystal film which is actually encapsulated between the lamination layers and which imparts its functionality. So it is a unique solution to improve the space and actually instantaneously control the opacity through the glass. So it is like you are, you are creating an on and off situation. So if you look at this picture it explains you how this technology works. So in an off situation these ions uh, in the glass which is being sandwiched almost like four surfaces which are laminated you have one glass at the top and then you have a PVB or an EVA layer it is being laminated with a liquid crystal foil and then it is laminated again with an EVA and PVB and then there is another glass. So it is like a sandwiched laminated glass and then if you put it on so all these ions if you look at this picture the ions get aligned and then you are able to see from inside to outside and a view condition is being created and once it is off so all these uh, ions actually get uh, moving in random directions and there is an opaque condition which is created. So as a product it can offer privacy with the touch of a button. So this is a switchable technology as compared to the technology which I have spoken to you in my earlier uh, slides. So this, this technology is switchable technology. We talked about uh, facades which are controllable which are dynamic in terms of electrochromic facades wherein this, this, this tinting happens with the elapsed time. But in this technology this is like a, a push of a button technology wherein by a switch of a button you can actually make the glass uh, opaque and transparent. Uh, it, and the most important thing also as a as a next uh, thing which can be done with this glass is there is a back projection which can be done on the glass and then this uh, glass can actually become like a billboard if you use it in the facades. Uh, you are able to do a space saving so I will be talking about all those applications which can be uh, done with this glass. So there, there is a huge amount of space saving which happens when you use this kind of a product. It consumes low power so uh, you are not worried about your energy bills by using this kind of technology because it uh, it uh, works on electricity. Uh, you can customize it because there are a lot of now uh, options available with pe with manufacturers which can actually make this uh, in different colors and you know a lot of sizes are available and it is easy to maintain because it is a glass at the first place so it is easy to maintain. So let us talk about some of the possibilities which can happen with this kind of product. It can be used as projection screen, yes uh, you can do a back projection on the glass. I will show you some of the photographs how it can be used as a projection screen. It can be used in washrooms, yes it can be used in washrooms also wherein you can actually uh, use it in a uh, wet area provided that it is uh, sealed and it is insulated and then it can be used in lobby areas in you know you are imagining your conference rooms uh, which is next to the reception area. So those areas definitely you can use this kind of a product. Partitions, yes all those IT buildings which are which has a uh, lot of these glass partitions and you are able to do a space saving by using this kind of product in the partitions also. So let me show you some of the photographs how these possibilities can be uh, done with this kind of a product. Uh, so imagine now this, so this is uh, a data center wherein you know you are you have put this glass uh, at the first place and then you if you switch it on you can see what is happening to the center. So this is a, a kitchen area application you know you can actually put it in a partition and then you can see from uh, whenever you want to have a vision you can actually create a vision through this glass. So this is a washroom area application wherein they have used uh, in a washroom uh, window wherein you are able whenever you want you can actually switch it on and off. So this is one of a very good application which also uh, I have uh, told you in the beginning of my uh, slide is. Uh, the lobby area application wherein if you see now this is a reception area and then you have a, a lobby at the back. So now it is an off state. So if I put it on so you can actually see this entire conference room. So this is the way this application can actually this product can actually bring up to. So this is a uh, again a conference room if they have used in the conf corner conference room and can be made clear whenever you know there is no meeting which is going on and when there is a meeting which is going on then it can be you know made opaque. 
So, uh, in the retail application, this is a showroom of a of an automobile manufacturer wherein he wanted to create a buzz around the product, uh, around this car itself. So, actually he made a checker box and made some of them clear and then some of them tint, uh, you know, opaque and then in the morning it made all clear. So, that is how you can actually create a uh, uh, lot of these possibilities with this kind of product. So, we can use it also in the facades. So, I have talked about uh, the interior applications. It can be used in facades and it you can you, you can do n number of things on it. You can do a logo projection. So, there is a logo which is being projected now on the facade. You know, you can actually uh, project a pattern. All those things can be actually done on the facades and this uh, this becomes like a billboard. So, you can actually earn revenue by projecting different logos on, on the facade. Now, this is a conference room and uh, you know uh, the next uh, technology in, in the next thing which you can do with this product is you can actually do projection, the back projection and then this uh, glass can actually become like a projection screen. So, this is a conference room, now I have made it opaque, now I actually can do a projection on it. So, imagine now you have actually done a, uh, you know you, you created like a C in, in the conference which is going on. So, this is this is the possibilities which you can actually imagine with this this product and uh, the possibilities are limitless. It is actually dependent upon the user how he wants to use it and where he wants to use it and this technology can definitely uh, do lot of things which were not possible earlier uh, at least from the glass point of view. So, this is one of the you know picture which can actually show you how it looks from on and off condition. So, this is uh, a lobby area where this has been used. So, on the left it is an on condition which is completely clear you can actually see uh, through the glass and then there is an off condition wherein it is all which is 100 percent opaque you can even do the projection on the glass. So, this is about uh, we talked about in terms of this switchable technology uh, the facades which can be switchable and now if you look at how the facades are changing people are getting bored of uh, the older static glasses these colored glasses and then they are looking at in terms of uh, making these uh, facades very very uh, you know uh, looking very novel very different and every uh, every designer actually wants to make a different facade to create his own uh, image so from that uh, perspective there are the, there has been lot of innovations which has happened in terms of making these facades very different and create a novelty uh, through the facade and we will be talking about designer facades so, designer facades are what is basically these are digitally ceramic printed facades uh, and this technology has been uh, recently bought into the market and you can print anything on the glass. So, as a product uh, I would like to tell you what it is. So, uh, it is actually the enamel ink which is actually printed on the glass and it and then the glass is being heat treated. So, once this printing is done on the glass and then the glass is actually uh, cut and then it is being sent to the tempering. So, once the glass is being tempered or heat treated then after that you cannot peel off this uh, ink. So, it becomes a monolithic part of the glass, it actually becomes a part of the glass itself. So, it is very robust. So, enamel is uh, one of the hardest material and when it is actually applied on the glass and baked at 700 degree Celsius, it becomes extremely resistant to any change such as UV uh, discoloration, high temperature variations, wet, humid or dry environment as well as scratching and abrasion. So, that is that is the amount of uh, robustness which is being created by uh, putting the ink on this glass and making the digitally ceramic printed facades. So, as a technology there has been uh, improvement in the way this printing has actually moved forward in the glass. So, if you look at the history it started from uh, from screen printing you can actually print in two colors uh, white and black and you can do a screen printing then these screens were made and then they were being they were being printed on the glass and then they were tempered. So, then the, the ink, that ink became the part of the glass. But the challenge was that if you need to create a high resolution photograph or you need to print something which has uh, which is like an HD image with a lot of colors uh, in, in it. So, it was very difficult at that time. So, now we have these designer facades wherein you can actually print a, a image which can actually which is like almost like a photograph of somebody. So, which has uh, 4 billion colors. So, that is how you can actually print that image now. So, the condition of use for this kind of uh, product is for outdoors, indoors, public spaces, private spaces and uh, it is a very durable product as a first place. So, this uh, ink is going to stay permanently uh, on the glass and it is going to be 
becoming the part of the glass till the life of the glass itself. It can also sustain very uh, hot and very low temperatures. So, uh, it is not a technology wherein you will be worried about how it is going to behave in uh, extreme weather conditions. So, ceramic printing or digital ceramic printing is going to stay till the glass life and it, it is uh, it's being insulated for a lot of these temperature variations, climate variations and even the aberrations and the scratches. Basically talking about from the uh, aesthetic point of view, so there are the styles of inspiration which generally an architect would be looking at creating a timeless uh, facade, creating a form uh, through the glass itself, being making an organic uh, printing on the glass and talking about the newer eras and how this eras has been evolved and talking about the culture. So, all these inspirations can be actually taken as a style of inspiration which can be actually printed on this uh, facades and actually make this facades look very, very novel, very interactive and then you know it creates a benchmark in terms of how these facades are going, going to look. So, we are talking about uh, uh, design which is a digital design. So, you can actually print uh, anything which uh, you want to print on it uh, and it is meant for uh, it can be an interior application, it can be into the facade application and you can print any kind of image on it. In terms of how this overall as a product can offer you the benefits. So, we are talking about a product uh, which is very functional. So, this is the first aspect of it has been seen that is something to do with the aesthetics. So, it is a very aesthetic product, uh, but yes, we are also talking about something which is very functional. So, you now when you use particularly this digital ceramic printing, then you can actually control the light and then you can actually uh, you know get a diffused light which is not uh, getting directly into the glare. So, you are actually controlling the glare by uh, doing the uh, digital ceramic printing on the glass. You control the light transmission, so that is how you are actually being able to have diffuse light and then uh, you know by all these designs you can create different uh, lux, lux level, how much lux you want to have inside by using the ceramic printing uh, technology. You can do energy savings with it because with the amount of uh, fritting what we when we do on this kind of product, it actually uh, uh, lowers down the heat gain and then you know that there is a lot of energy saving which is happening because of this uh, lower of lowering of the heat gain. So, you are controlling the sun because by reducing the light transmission and by reducing the heat gain from this glass. It also creates a privacy. So, imagine now uh, this as if you use in a gradient. So, from inside uh, you can still see uh, from the glass and then from outside you are not able to see. So, this is like a privacy uh, product which can also create a privacy. One of the also the benefit which has not been mentioned uh, in this slide is that uh, it also creates uh, bird safe facades. So, you know when you look at the glass at the first place the buildings which are now making made up with lot of glass in the facade. So, what happens it, it sometimes also creates uh, some amount of trouble for the birds to go and hit the glass at the first place. So, by doing this uh, ceramic printing on the glass, the glass can also be made bird safe glass. These are some of the pictures uh, through which uh, you know. Uh, you can imagine what this particular technology can do. This is like phenomenal. You can actually create, uh, it is basically you can print anything and everything on the facade and make this, uh, this facade or this uh, your building actually look unique and you know very different from the entire uh, uh, you know all the, all the set of buildings which are the, there in the vicinity. So, if you see all these pictures, so these are uh, these are the amount of creation or the creativity which you can be actually exploring and can be doing on the facade itself and these are all uh, printed digitally and this can be uh, done now with the technology which is available. You can be actually printing any kind of thing on the facades and so imagine this uh, photograph which is in the lower uh, right hand side of me on the slide. So, it is a, a picture of somebody uh, who can actually be printed on the facade itself. So, you can actually create facades which are uh, standing out, which are looking very uh, elegant, which are looking very different, which are which are something which can give an inspiration uh, to other people around it. So, uh, these are some of the images of the uh, facades on which this technology has been already been used. So, what is required? Uh, it is just a picture which is required to get printed with this kind of technology on the facade. It is a high resolution photograph which is required in any kind of format which is AI, Coral Vector or a JPG format and then you can actually print a photograph on it.